So, disclaimer, I am in the same clothes as the last video I posted. I did that this morning before work and I've just got home. My hair's kind of okay, makeup's fine, so I'm doing another vlog. And in this one, I want to talk about the set, the cast, and the trailer, which is finally dropped and I can share with you guys. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. It's available on YouTube, Netflix, etc. I'm going to be sharing it on my social media accounts as well. It's all very exciting. I completely freaked out when I first saw the trailer, as you could probably tell because I posted a reaction video as I was watching it for the very first time. First off, I want to talk about the cast. A lot of you probably already know. The main characters, Elle, Lee and Noah, are played respectively by Joey King, who you might know from Ramona and Beezus and White House Down. She played Channing Tatum's daughter in it, who wears the flag. It's an awesome film, you should watch it if you haven't seen it. Lee is played by Joel Courtney, who was in Super 8 by Steven Spielberg. And Noah is played by a guy called Jacob Lordy. Molly Ringwald is also in the film. You might know her from a couple of little films like Pretty in Pink and The Breakfast Club. My parents freaked out when they heard she was gonna be in it. My dad was very proud of the fact he got a selfie with Molly Ringwald. I got to meet all the cast when I was out on set last year. It was so much fun. Mostly though, today I'm gonna to talk about the three main characters, as in Elle slash Joey, Jacob slash Noah, and Joel slash Lee. Starting off with Elle and Lee. Joey and Joel. Oh man, they were so perfect. They were both so fun, they were so bright. The one scene they filmed made me cry. I kept crying every time they redid this scene, like 20 times or whatever, when they're moving the cameras, they do a lot of take. Every time I was moved to tears because they were so good. And a couple of fun stories from set as well. So actually there's a clip in the trailer where Elle is talking to a couple of girls at a party. She then goes over to Noah and says, will you do the kissing booth? And he's like, lol no. That scene, Joey's like doing all these fake shots. They kept, like, she kept having to do so many fake shots, I felt so bad. And they reset the cameras at one point. She just came over to me like, dude, poke my bladder. I was like, what is happening right now? But she was just so bright, she was so funny, she was really, really sweet and lovely. And the moment I saw her, I was like, you're, you're the perfect L. Like, this is, this is amazing. Also, <laughs> you might have noticed I've got two conveniently placed copies of the kissing booth. I'm gonna come on to that later. Another bit from set was that Joel, who's playing really fun-loving, adorable Lee, he skipped away from set one day. I like, I will not attempt to imitate this because I cannot. So it was like lunchtime, he wasn't even in the afternoon, so he was like, I'm gonna head back, I'll see you guys, bye. He just skipped away, did that little jumpy thing where you click your heels together. I just, I kept laughing, I kept telling my dad like, that was Lee. I don't know who Joel is, but that was Lee. Meanwhile, Jacob wasn't exactly like Noah, but once those cameras started rolling, like, oh my God, just, it was incredible. One scene we filmed at a beach and he's sort of like chewing a toothpick. He's got his like leather jacket on, looking all badass like Noah. Doing the scene, they stopped filming. He looked around, caught my eye and went. I just could, like, again, I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, who? What's going on right now? And actually there's another bit that we filmed that same day, which is in the trailer. Noah comes up out the water, I think there's like an angelic chorus playing in the trailer. And when, when he filmed that, like, I mean the water was freezing cold, this was in February as well. So like, he was a hell of a trooper to get in the sea at all that day. And it was so windy, like the sand was going everywhere, it's getting all in our eyes. So he's running through the water, just stacks it. Just fell, like, tripped over his own feet, went right down. Flat his face. It was one of those where everyone just kind of looked. So he was okay and then started laughing. It was it was great. So those of you that have read The Kissing Booth will kind of have picked up a lot more about the characters in the trailer. Hopefully you love them as much as I do, but obviously there's so much more to come in the movie itself, which is coming out next Friday on the 11th of May. It'll be released worldwide again in case you've forgotten. But I, I really love to hear your thoughts from the trailer and what you've seen so far as to, you know, if you think that they kind of do them justice. I really think they do. And like I've said before and on some of my vlogs and stuff, one of the things I said to Vince, who wrote and directed the movie, was that it was really important to me that the characters came through, even if they didn't really look like them, and even if some of the storyline changed. And I really think they did. So, fingers crossed you guys aren't disappointed. Like I said, I'm not. I'm so thrilled to pieces with it all. But one of the other things I wanted to talk about in this video was the set. So, I have a box of stuff that I have from the set. I'm gonna move my tea out of the way first. I'm getting this box. It's actually like really heavy. It has a little gold clasp on the front and everything, it's adorable. So this is one of the coolest things I have from set. They sent it to me like just afterwards when I'd left with something else I'm gonna show you in a second. But it's a t-shirt. And hopefully this isn't gonna come up backwards because I have no idea how this works on this camera. 
It says the keeping booth on it. It's so fun. I love it. It's like, it's just awesome. But they also sent me this scrapbook. And I'm not going to show you all the pictures or it, in it or anything. But look, like a little Joey of Kiss. Oh man. Okay, so this one I think I could show you because it's from like behind the scenes. So this is Vince. This is Vince Marcello. He's the guy who wrote the script and he directed the movie and I think so far what I've seen he's done a really epic job of it. I also have a picture in here with Joey. Like this, this was seriously like the cutest, cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I can show you this one as well because this is one of the stills that's like been shared on Twitter and it's like one of the like press stills. But to that, this whole book is just full of them. It's amazing. Okay, I keep saying this is my favorite thing, but actually like everything in this book, I got my little photo from Table Mountain with me and dad. You guys are gonna love this. So I'm a big fan of notebooks. The plan, write best-selling novel, sell film rights, retire for Swan About on a Yacht. I'm not quite at the retire or Swan About on a Yacht stage yet, but pretty cool. Oh, hey, I forgot about that. I kept like a little diary when I was out on set. I, I even kept a log of the scenes we filmed. Um, who I met from the cast, I also wrote. Plus, I get a cheer. Living the dream. It has my name on it. Actually, I think I have that in this box as well. I must do, because I don't know where else I would have put it. Oh God, I hope I can get all this back in the box. I have my script. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we do not go. I have, I have this thing, which is a call sheet from some of the filming day we did. Here's another one of the really cool things that I got. I'm gonna demonstrate. Oh, oh yeah. It also says, kissing booth on the back, which I hope has come out the right way in this video. I had like a little director's chair on set and everything, it was fan-freaking-tastic. So a couple of other things that I wanted to share with you guys today is some more bits of news, because no, the news isn't only that the trailer dropped today. That's not all. I'm also able to tell you now that we're reprinting The Kissing Booth. There's a beauty with the movie cover. I'll be sharing it on Twitter, Instagram, etc. I'll leave my links in the doob. Ooh. No, doobly doo is the Vlogbrothers thing. What's it called? Description. Links in the description. But I'm at Recalls on Twitter, author Beth Recalls on Instagram. You can follow me there for more. So a couple of things about the movie cover of the book. We are not doing it as a separate edition. So that basically means you can't like pre-order it as the movie edition, but stock is running low, so hopefully soon, when you buy it, you'll get the movie copy. Fingers crossed that works, but should be going to bookstores and things like that as well, so you'll be able to pick it up there. Also, here's a little teaser for you, because I'm not, not gonna announce this for a couple of days yet, but I'm gonna be doing a competition over on Twitter, and there is a really, really awesome prize. I'm not gonna tell you what yet, but it's pretty, pretty damn awesome. So keep an eye out for that as well. In the meantime, please go watch the trailer again, link in the description. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. Also, how excited are you for the movie cover of the book? Ah. Also, I'd really love to do a Q&A vlog about the movie, so I'm probably gonna film that in the next couple of days. Please get your questions in ASAP. You can send them to me on Twitter. Again, I'm at Recalls. You can drop them in the comments below. I've been collecting a bunch of them. Hopefully I will get around to answering yours. So until next time, guys. <laughs>